Okay, welcome back to the channel. I have not been the best at keeping y'all updated on this Toyota build, but really it's just been tearing it apart so far. So now that we're on the kind of rebuild phase, I'm going to start bringing the camera back out as much as I can, recording as much content as I can, and trying to get it on YouTube quickly so all y'all can see what we're doing, because this is about to get really cool. So I got the cylinder head here in, in my kitchen room workshop table. We've run out of space. We got the truck taken apart quite a bit and not a true workshop, but we're making it work. So first things first, we pulled the heads off. Uh, we could definitely tell there was oil getting through the head gasket by when we pulled it all off. It was pretty clear. I can flash some pictures up of the, the whole rip apart process of this. But we got it all cleaned up real good. There's still a little bit, we'll finish cleaning it, do a final clean before it gets installed, but we cleaned all the internal ports out really well, and we decided to go with new valves, as you can see the boxes are here, smelling engine parts, um, we're putting new valves in, we are keeping the springs, everything seemed good with those, uh, so... Today what I'm going to be working on is seating the valves with some valve grinding compound. I don't know how well you can see that. This is Permatex valve grinding compound. I ordered this through Amazon a few bucks, got here next day. That was real easy. And then when we do, so I'll seat them all, clean it again, get all of that grinding compound off. And then when I do finally go to assemble them back into the vehicle, or back into the cylinder head, I will use this Permatex Ultra Slick Engine Assembly Lube, which works really well. It's a really thick red lube to stay on all the components while you start the motor up for the first time. So at that, I am going to throw some music on for myself and start working. You'll probably go in the super speed and this will take about a hundredth of the time. Let's go. So, what I'm trying to do here is I'm trying to put a little bit of that valve grinding compound just on this edge where the valve seats. And then taking, and I, I mean just a very little bit, just the tip of the dab of your finger on there. I slide the valve back into the head and then I'm twisting and that's seating this, the surface of this valve and mating it to the cylinder head. And so, from this point forward, if, you, if you're building a motor like this, from this point forward, this valve is the intake valve for cylinder one. This now has to go into cylinder one because that's what I've mated it to. I will continue to do this for each of the valves and then they will be put back into their respective places in the cylinder head and so on and so forth. We just keep going from here. I'm going to label all these as I take these out. So what I'll probably do here is I'll probably go ahead and seat all of the intake valves, clean them all, clean all the surfaces, install the intake, flip this over, do the same for the exhaust. Doing valve number two now. Let's make sure we get some of that oil off of the surface. So here we'll jump back over to the block itself. This is the block right after we pulled it out. You can see it's still dirty. You can see some rust coming in in some places. The pistons don't look too good. Um, 
here in a sec, you're going to jump over. You can see while we were polishing the deck, we polished the deck and honed the cylinders. This is midway through the process. We still did a lot more honing after this. And you can see, used a hand polish to do the top and then used a, uh, a hone on a drill to get, get all the cylinders. We measured everything ahead of time and, and we had... Everything was within right about a thousandth of, uh, of spec, so we weren't too worried about it. We honed everything, and it should be good to go. Now you can see me installing the crankshaft main bearings into, into the motor, into the engine block. And then here in a second, George will come in with the crank, and we'll install the crank and keep going through that process. So you hear George just walked in with the crankshaft. Uh, we're cleaning it real good before it goes back in. I did polish. There was one little, uh, one little nick on one side from when we were taking it out, so I polished that. Then we cleaned everything real good. We measured the crankshaft as well. The crank had been ground down ten thousandths, so we ordered bearings appropriate for that. Um, here we're getting some oil back on everything, and then getting all of the bearings back in place and in a minute here you'll see us get the plastic gauge out we did check all of our tolerance all of our oil tolerances and everything looked good we were happy with that and yep you can see we just tried to keep oil on all of the surfaces as we just used brake cleaner to clean it we, we made sure we hit oil on anything that might rust as, as we sit this for a little while um, We'll go through, check everything with plastic gauge, pull it all out, get the get the plastic we can out of there, and then I went back and I put the engine assembly loop back on everything. There were a couple camera cuts in here, so you might not see every single step of the process, but I think we got most of it, so enjoy. Here you can see George and I torque everything to spec. Um, I believe it was like 75 or 80 foot pounds. And double check it. We got it from the Haynes manual. But if you like what you're seeing here, um, I would just ask that you please like, subscribe, comment. That'll tell me that you want me to keep producing more content. I'm really excited to get this Toyota going and continue this project. You can see uh, more of an up-to-date view of what's going on on my Instagram under McDevitt Machines, so please check that out as well. I also just started, I put um, a logo of mine on some t-shirts. You can find those on spring.com, formerly known as Teespring. I got some t-shirts and some hoodies and a bag. I'll probably put some hats and stuff on there as well. So please check that out. That's spring.com. You can find it under McDevitt Machines, same as this, and it'll be the matching logo you see here on my account as well as the same logo on my Instagram. So yeah, definitely check that out if you're enjoying the content, and there will be more on the way soon. Thank you very much for watching. Here I'm just going to put a quick coat of oil on everything, make sure I get it in all the galleys because we knew the motor was going to sit while we waited for pistons and cam bearings. So I made sure everything had a good coat of oil on it, covered it with a trash bag. Okay, hey y'all, I'm back in the shop with the Toyota. Um, so I ended up cracking one of the pistons, not this one, this is piston four. I just dropped it while moving them. So we're going to end up in... We're going to go ahead and replace all four of the pistons. So right now I'm just going to do a quick time lapse of me popping all the wrist pins out here. I'm just going to find, I tried to get the number one out earlier and it was a little tight. So I'm going to find a socket about the same size and just tap it on through. Um, yep, and then we'll keep going with this engine rebuild. We're going to have to wait on new pistons. We're ordering those today.